Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and today we're going to be taking a look at me playing Zero Wing on the Sega Genesis. This is one of the new releases that is part of the Topolin Shooters Collector's Edition by Retrobit. I did a video on my main channel where I reviewed that, unboxed it, took a look at that, and included in there is Zero Wing, which, as many of you know, is uh, notorious. <laughs> in its bad English translation here. Uh, so much so, I think it's actually pretty awesome. I love how when you read through the text of this intro, it's just so bad it's good. I think it's, you know, it's classic for a reason. It's funny because watching this intro again, it's like, man, it almost needs an epilepsy warning in it because it's got so many flashes. You would never do that today, right? because so many people are so sensitive to it, but back then they didn't care about that stuff. No, not at all. But I wanted to include the intro here on this gameplay because, you know, it's it's a big part of why this game is so well, well remembered, I think, you know? And so it, it's cool to remember it here. Um, but also too, it's just a really great horizontal shooter, very similar in style to another one that they made called Hellfire. Now, Hellfire had this ability where you would cycle through four different weapon types. This doesn't have that, but instead what it has, I forget what they call it, but basically it's a tractor beam on the front of your ship that can reach out and bring in and hold onto enemy ships. And you can either use them as a shield or as a, as a missile. And it's something that you'll see me use a little bit but it's really important when you play against bosses. So, uh, you know, you can grab onto them and you'll see me do it here, just kind of getting through the level, but it's at the bosses where you're gonna need that extra shields and an extra missile to throw at them. You'll also see here that I pick up these colored weapon types. And uh, this is another thing that I really like about this game. Uh, they have, what is it? Red, blue, green, and yellow or something like that. Each one just has a little bit of a different type of, of firing mechanic. It's the green one that I really like because as you'll see, it's almost like a homing missile or it, it, not completely, like it won't bend around you and go behind you, but it will travel up and down. And it's just really nice to, to clear a lot of these enemies very quickly. Zero Wing is another game that I feel is decent for beginners, uh, especially when you're playing on easy mode, which I am doing here. Uh, it, it gives you the opportunity to learn the layout of the levels, learn the enemy types and kind of their patterns. And it's interesting because up until this point, I didn't own a physical copy of Zero Wing, primarily because I don't really run into it hardly ever when I'm out at you know, retro gaming stores or at expos, you know, it's, it is one of those kind of sought after games on the Sega Genesis. It's not stupid expensive. I mean, I was taking a look at pricecharting.com and it looks like for a complete copy, it runs about, I want to say a hundred bucks or so. It kind of fluctuates a little bit, which isn't crazy because, you know, when you get to the Super Nintendo side of things, you can spend several hundreds of dollars getting some of these games. Um, that's still a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but it, it's not in crazy town. And so definitely a game that's cool to see get a re-release here from Retrobit. It's a really fun shooter. If you haven't played it, definitely check it out. 